Are you ready for some dark, sticky Halloween fun? Of course you are. I'm Ron Fitzgerald. I'm master of the dark realm. I'm an actor and a gothic illusionist for those of you who aren't familiar with me. And years ago, I had my own cable TV show called Fitzgerald's Realm. It ran 90 through 96 on a little cable network out of the Chicagoland area and the South Suburbs. And I'm bringing it back to you now. There'll be more episodes soon. But the show ended uh, with a Halloween episode, so I wanted to bring it back with a big Halloween special, which you're gonna be seeing right after this in just a moment. Uh, now, it, it ended in 96. I still get recognized for this today. It was immensely popular at the time. Why, I don't know. It was just lots of really weird fun. Uh, don't be thrown by the fact it was a long time ago. I had really long blonde hair then, so enjoy that. So for some of you, there's some great nostalgia value here, but some of you that didn't see it, went around for it the first time around, it's just gonna be a weird time travel ride. And uh, it's been recently declassified, all of this footage, uh, by the uh, government in the cult classic video vault. So it's coming to you right now. And uh, the movie is sponsored by uh, the movie, uh, the show is sponsored by the movie Dark Realm. And Dark Realm is streaming and also on DVD for you weirdo collectors. It stars myself, Vincent Bellancio, and the lovely Kaylee Williams. It's also directed by Vincent Bellancio. It's a breaking, genre blending, uh, weird ride of a movie that uh, combines live performance and a horror film narrative. So you can see my gothic illusion performances shot in front of a live audience mingled with a horror story. So it's a horror movie that has my show in it. It's really cool It's and, and different. And if you want to see what I've been doing since the cable TV show, go check out Dark Realm. It's streaming and on DVD. The links are down in the show notes below. So now, if you are ready, get yourself a goblet of blood and some candy corn and get ready for Fitzgerald's Realm, the classic cable TV show, and every day is Halloween.
I'm Ron Fitzgerald. I'm not really a psychotic vampire biker from Los Angeles. I just dress like one. Now, anyway, for hundreds of years, magicians like myself have been torturing beautiful, innocent young women for your entertainment pleasure. Personally, this greatly offends me, but you still dig it, so I still do it. And why break such a damn fine tradition tonight? Eh, well, we're not going to. Because what we've got in stall for you, in store for you, rather, is this bit of vampire performance art, a little something that I like to call undead vaudeville. Assisting me in this illusion will be Ashley Crystal, mistress of sadistic delight. Yes, that's her real name, and yeah, it looks real cool on her driver's license, so watch her very closely. This piece you're about to see is based on William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, but then again, so is Sid and Nancy. Then again, so is Sean Penn and Madonna. Then again, let's get on with it, shall we? So if you're ready to see something really weird, really creepy, really bizarre, really scary, get real close to the TV now, because we're all gonna groove to the apocalyptic bebop. That means music for you kids in the booth.
Thanks very much, kids. Wasn't that fun? And remember, I'm a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Always go to a neighbor's house and do it. It scares the hell out of them. Good boy. <laughs> that? Let's open you up here. Oh, and conveniently located in his nasal cavities is the Halloween prayer. Oh, clean you up a little bit. All right. Oh, you're going to like this. Let's try the 3D effect, okay? You ready? Ooh. All right, twist and shout. Come here, rude boy. This is it, the Halloween prayer. Grant that no hobgoblins fright me, no hungry devils rise up and bite me, no urchins, elves, or drunkards, ghosts shove me against walls or posts. Oh, grant I may no black thing touch, though many men love to meet such. Pretty cool. We have no idea. Do you know where that's from? He has no idea. There you go. Hang on to that. That's a lovely Halloween prayer from myself and Rude Boy. Okay, go to your room. And that's it for Rude Boy. We'll be back with some more weirdness. Okay, kids, we're back, and aren't you glad? Uh, now, we figured uh, as a special segment in our show, we'd make some uh, crypt calls for you kids. Think of it as vacation property. Don't wait till it's too late. Uh, so let me see what we've got here. We're just going to kind of make some calls. And we're all hooked up. What do we got the first one? Oh, wait, let's, let's tell you. We'll read the ad first. We've got one here. Um, oh, here we go. How about a double crypt in a mausoleum uh, the Graceland Cemetery in Valparaiso? Let's call them. Okay, one, nine, two, 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 seven, five, nine. And, um, there we go. There we got it. I hear a connection coming on. There we go. This is a double crypt in a mausoleum. Hello. Hi. Um, we're calling from Jones Inner Cable. You're uh, live on the air right now. Is it okay if we talk with you over the phone about uh, your uh, double crypt in the mausoleum? What about? Uh, we were just going to ask you some questions about it. Um, is it a nice mausoleum? I mean, first of all, is it okay if we put you on the air? We're, we're taping you right now at Jones Inner Cable. We're calling from Fitzgerald's Realm, a, a really um, a weird little show. And we just wanted to ask some questions for a Halloween show. Okay. It's okay? Sure. Hi, ma'am, what's your name? Um. You don't have to give it up. Give us a fake name. <laughs> Any fake Jane. name. What's that? Jane. Jane. It's Jane, kids. Uh, and Jane, um, we're calling you. You're over in, in Indiana? Yeah. Okay, good. You having a good time over there tonight? Sure. Okay, great. Are you getting all geared up for Halloween? Sure. Okay, that's great. <laughs> um, well, my name's Ron Fitzgerald, and we're calling you about, uh, you got a double crypt and a mausoleum over there in the Graceland Cemetery? Uh-huh. In Valpo? Uh-huh. Okay, wh what are you looking for for these things? How much How much cash are we talking for these? How much do they cost if you go over there and buy one? Yeah. About 7000 Oh, wow, that's a lot of money. And you're looking in the paper here for what, like like 2500 Yeah. Ooh, that's a good deal. Yeah. I think we should scoop this up, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> we're, we're just curious. Why? Uh, why are you getting rid of the uh, the uh, double crypt? Oh, because we're going to move away. Are you going to move away? Yeah. Oh, you, and we're going to just leave the family there, the rest of them, or and get well, them, get, not many. Not many. No. <laughs> and are you thinking about taking them with you? Well. There's not too many left, and what's left is going with us. Oh, what's left is going with you. Well, there, that's a good deal. That's a good thing you take them with you. Okay, so you're, you're looking to get rid of this. Now, is it a, is it a really nice mausoleum? Some oh, big, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah? Is it? Oh, it, it sure. Give us a little description, because we're on the air here, and we have no pictures of it. So just kind of give us a, a basic idea of uh, what we're talking about. Do you know what a mausoleum looks like? 
It's a big stone building. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it faces... <laughs> it faces right on 30, the big highway right out there. Oh, so it's like a straight shot down from 30 from right here then, huh? Yeah. We're, we're over in Park Forest. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh-huh. And it's right by across the street from the Valpo University. Oh, that's great. So we got a tomb with a view, right? Right. Oh, that's great. And it faces the highway, because when I go by, I always tell my kids to say hi to Mom. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, does Mom ever say hi back? <laughs> Well, they don't think that's funny. Oh, they don't think that's funny? No. Oh, well, we'll we think it's a hoot pretty much here. I well, think you I go think it's funny, but you've they got a, don't. No, they don't? No. Oh, slap them around a little bit for us. <laughs> <laughs> they don't believe in being buried above ground. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh, well, I think it's kind of neat. I do, too. You know? You know, it's nice. You know, you want to get out at night, take a walk around, hit the Burger King or something. Have it clean. McDonald's. No that's bugs right. crawling on you. That's right. You yeah, got oh, it. Yeah, no, no wormies or anything like that. That's just, too, that's just too nasty now, isn't it? That's right. You got a nice, you know, crypt there in the mausoleum. It's and eye level. I mean, this is a perfect one. There you go. Now, how many does the mausoleum hold? Oh, they've got a lot of them over there now. Oh, really? Uh-huh. I got it when they built their first one. Oh, so you got it on the ground level, so yeah. to speak. Yes. Well, that's pretty neat. <laughs> but above ground. Above ground, exactly. Now, how, how many does the, the actual... Now, that's a double crypt. Now, how many can you actually get into the mausoleum? Oh, they've got... They're just... I have no idea. No I idea? I can't even answer you. Oh, they've okay. They've probably got... They, let's see, I'm on the third level, and there's probably like five or six levels. Oh, wow. And then across. So, so you got pretty much a busload in there, don't you? Right. All right. Well, that's a good but deal. But I like a crowd. You like a crowd. Yes. Well, you know, you don't want to be dancing alone when the big one hits now, do you? You got it. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly <laughs> Okay, Jane, we're going to go here. Um, just wish everyone a happy Halloween from Fitzgerald's Realm, okay? Sounds good. Okay, well, that's close enough anyway. Jane, thank you very much. Okay, okay? happy it, Halloween to everybody. Thank you. We'll get back to you because we got a friend, uh, you know, Chris Olson here, who's not feeling too well, so we might need one of those. Oh, so. my gosh. Tell him to call. You got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Bye. Hello. Okay, that was Jane. Jane was pretty fun, wasn't she, kids? And pretty damn perky about the whole dead thing, but that's okay because that's why we're here. All right, shall we make one more or no? So this is it. Um, we're going to close out here. Wait, let me try the phone one more time. Oh, no, it's dead. It's a joke. Anyway, later. <laughs> I have this reoccurring dream about an ancient temple in the middle of nowhere that is ruled by the goddess of the vampires. I love it.
going, what is, is this the Playboy channel? What yeah, is this? this is a big microphone, my God. <laughs> it could be the Playboy channel. I am here, lords and ladies of the realm, um, with a couple of really good, cool Conga friends of mine. Um, we have Vlad and Linda of hi. the Dock Theater. Say hi to the kids. Hello, right? hello kids, hi, it's hi. Uncle Vlad. Uncle Vlad, and here's Aunt Linda. No. Not Aunt Linda? No. You're just sexy cool Linda, right? No, I'm just, well. Just Linda? Just Linda. Just Linda. <laughs> just plain just Linda. Just plain Linda. Hey, if it was good enough for Julie Brown. You want, you want to be Countess Linda? Well, you can be. I've always been. You've always been Countess Linda? Who have you got over here? Oh, the Count. The Count? This is... This he doesn't is... spoo, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. And you know, spoo. these two back here are very happy about that right now. <laughs> but I do spoo, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> He's All right, mine. that's enough spooing. He's a mime. He's yours? He's a, He's oh, he a talks. mime. He's a mime? He's a mime. Oh, wait, let, let's make him he talk. He lost his voice. Get, get the camera adjust on, uh, just on the Count. Can we get a shot of just the Count? Here we go, the Count and Lita. One bad cable show. Ah, 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 ah. Two bad cable shows. Ah, 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 ah. All right, never show me when I'm doing that stupid stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, he actually, he wasn't doing it. If you saw, I, my hand was behind in the slot in his back, making him talk. See? Watch, and I'll jerk him up. Hi, everybody. There we go. It's the Ron puppet. Wait, it's I'm not going to tell you where I put my hand, though. So please don't tell me. <laughs> no, we want to see you dance Can on the I bed. I, I will. I promise I'll dance on the bed. There's a bunch of people waiting. We're going I'll to dance make you okay. dance on the bed. You're going to make me dance we're on the bed? Make, make, make you dance, dance on you the bed. You're going to make me dance? We're going we to about, make We thought you. about de-pantsing you on we the... Uh, hey, for the next the next giveaway, kids, because I, I brought a bunch of things for Uncle Ron to give away. The next, next uh, the uh, instead of a password, what we're going to do is we're going to make you guess what color panties Ron has on. <laughs> if you can do that... It's funny. You know, I think I'm in big trouble here. And now, let's take a look at this. What? Can, oh, I'm gonna dance on the bed. You're gonna dance. I'm gonna dance. You're gonna. You're gonna whip me. Yeah, and uh, you have dance to stroke me. Stroke me. Ah, we're gonna ask, you guys can play a little something. Give me a little drum to dance on the bed. Everybody will help because of themselves. Okay. Um, there's the microphone. Okay. All right. I'm on the bed for those of you who requested this. And oh boy, I'm scared. Don't step on Barbie. Um, can you give me, I don't know, give me a stripper kind of thing on the drums there. You were you know, dancing on Barbie. I was dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I tried not to dance on Barbie. Oh, gotta have it. Mmm. Here, can you go back and back? All right.
Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life is but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Nothing. Welcome back, lords and ladies. You know, we figured we've brought you a lot of really weird and strange things, but we thought we'd bring you something helpful in your everyday life right about now, other than just fine, fine entertainment. So we have a little cooking segment for you. And here with the cooking segment is our master chef, Pumpkinhead. Hi, Pumpkinhead. Hi, Ron. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Uh, you, you like being on here? Well, this is going to be real a lot of fun. Yeah. What have you got? Um, 
You got something from the cookbook here? Yeah, I've been starting to work on this lovely new cookbook of Jeffrey Dahmer's, Jeffrey Dahmer's cookbook, and, and I've tried the first recipe. I think <laughs> it's called Baby Doll Stew or Baby Doll Au Gratin Stew. Au Gratin Stew, yes, yeah, you've got it marked here. Stew. And let's see what we have. It's been cooking for quite a while now. Hey, it looks good. It doesn't smell too bad either, kids. Mm. Oh. Pumpkinhead, you look a little disturbed. What's wrong? It's not turning out the way I hoped. Well, well why? What? Uh. Well, did you read this thing? Okay, wait a minute. It's the baby, the, the baby doll soup, parts soup au gratin here. Right. What? Okay, you got parts, you got some water, you got some au gratin, you got... And seasoning. Oh, no, wait, wait. Did you skim out the clothes? Oh, shucks. I forgot to skim out the clothes. Pumpkin That's what's Pumpkinhead, it says here specifically you have to uh, skim out the clothes. Yeah. Oh, that'll make all the difference. Mmm. And you know, I think that's right. Well, we'll be back later after Pumpkinhead skims out the clothes and we, we figure out the recipe. Um, so for right now, here, here's something else. It looks a lot better. <laughs> Uh... 
the babe. The babe with the power. Power of voodoo. You do. Remind me of the babe. I saw my baby. Happy Halloween, everybody, from me, Voodoo Baby. Oh, yes, because I'm Voodoo Baby, and I want to wish everyone a, a really, really happy Halloween. I like Halloween. It's my favorite time of the year because you get tricks and treats. I wish I was big enough to go out and trick or treat, but, you know, well, they won't let me because I'm just a Voodoo Baby. And I want to go out there. I want to put on this scary costume, like I'm not scary enough, and I want to go out and scare people and make them give me stuff. You know, I, I want lots of candy. I like sticky, gooey stuff. Uh, yes, all over, everywhere. Sticky, gooey. I want to be dunked in karma like a big apple. I want, I just want, you know, I want candy. Lots of candy. Don't you like candy? I like candy. Mmm, yum. It's just a way. And I wish, I wish I had my candy here with me right now. Where's candy? Oh, candy. Give me candy. Yes! Oh, yum! Mmm! Yay! This is my candy! Hi, Candy! Say hello to the folks! Mmm! What a sparkling personality! All right! Oh, Candy! Oh, I'm going to... I'm going to eat my candy now! So, please, please excuse me while I do... All right, put my lid on. I'm ready to go for a little nap. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! 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 Do that again! Yay! <laughs> and let's start the show with something like this. Angels rise from ashes, daughters lost in dust. Such rapture in this mortal twilight turns my eyes cold gray with lust.
coming to you from Bachelor's Grove with everybody's favorite Halloween segment, Spike the Punk Puppet. <laughs> Happy Halloween, ducky. <laughs> no tongues, I hardly know you. <laughs> Happy Halloween to you, too. Uh, yes, yes. Do you have a, a trick or a treat for me? Or hopefully both. Ah. Which do you prefer? Tricks and treats. Tricks and treats? A trick is a treat, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Long as you don't charge or nothing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Have you met my friend here? Yes, I have. Right. This Hi. is Evil Bob. Hi, He's Evil my Bob. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Nice yes. to meet you, too. Evil Bob and I want to give you some Halloween trick or treat tips. Oh, uh, 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 excuse me. Uh, oh God! Uh, sorry, I bit got on you, didn't I? Yes, partying a little too much this Halloween. Oh, always, always. You want to see a neat trick? Uh. Yes, good. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. God, that hurts. Uh. All right. Give him some trick-or-treat tips. All right, Bob? Well, I don't know. I think you should always watch out for things that aren't in their original wrappings. Right. Wouldn't you say so? Yes, I would. There might be razor blades or pins or... You can't tell if it's a brownie treat or a nutty buddy or heck, who knows what it could That's be. That's right. It's not in its original wrapping, what? so please. Some horrible jewel bar or something. <laughs> That's right. I hate those. On a stick? On a stick. <laughs> Right. And you also want to make sure he's got a good point. Check things, you know, like check your razor blades for apples. Hate check your razor happens. blades for apples. Isn't that the other way around? It's not my name. It's all over your face. You can't shave otherwise. It's so frustrating, those pranksters. Give that's me that's right. Well, what are you giving out for Halloween? Me? Yes. VCRs. VCRs? Yeah, I'm nice to the kids. You gonna give me one? No. Why not? Well, it depends on what you're gonna give me, Ducky, oh. now, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> Stop it. You could get a whole TV from me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Candy corn, sorry. Oh. 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 Candy corns. I got mine mixed up with somebody's old dentures, and I couldn't oh. tell which. Oh, it was awful. Happened to me once. Got a little. Little, little drunk, a little tipsy one Halloween, just a little. Just a little? You look right. a little more than tipsy, dear. Not me. Yes, I you. know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good little punk puppet. Yeah, <laughs> right. All right, well, I gotta go dig up some friends. <laughs> Close out, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Later. <laughs> you can have her for a while, I'll be back. <laughs> oh. Spike will be back next right. time. He's off to his Halloween party, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye! There you go. We're going to go out on the back lot of the Jones Intercable Studios right here. We're going out the back door. Let's go. Hi there. Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's Evil Bob. Evil Bob, come on. Let's go on out outside. We're going to do some uh, pumpkin carving. I know what you're saying. Pumpkin carving at Jones Intercable. Watch out. You're on my cord. <laughs> this. This is my uh, my evil assistant right here, Evil Bob. Hey, Say hi to the kids, Evil hi. Bob. Hi. And tell them to have a safe Halloween. Oh, always remember safety should be your first priority. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So never do what we're about to do here. I know what you're saying, pumpkin carving. It's a pain in the behind. You hate it. It's gross. But it's a favorite Halloween tradition. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, go get our favorite cutting tool. All right. Traditionally, Something like this would be used on something like this, which is a whopper of a pumpkin, don't you guys think? Actually, this is just not gonna do it. I think we're gonna need something kinda heavy duty here. That's right. Bring that thing in here. Always wear your safety goggles.
<laughs> All right, now we're inside. There we go. <laughs> you know, this is the worst part about I pumpkin like carving pumpkin is all the guts. <laughs> I hate guts. Get a good shot of this. Oh, Evil this Bob. Awesome. <laughs> Evil Bob, you want to start me up again? Oh, here? I'd love to run. All right. Whoa. Oh. Get us. We got to do the choke here again. Bring it over there. He's gonna. Let's give it to the stage hands. Let's what give it to the you? evil stage hand. Yeah. <laughs> you never want to do this in a brand new pair of Cavaruccis. <laughs> the next thing is we've got to carve our face here. All right. Let's get this out of here. A whiplash smile. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful, happy Halloween, kids. This is the way it should be done. It brings a <laughs> tear to my eye. And I think it brings a tear to his, too. What a friggin' mess. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Evil Bill. All right, kids, that's it. Here we go. Away. 